Today, the BBC brings you EastEnders to the Archers, but what was it like at the start? If any young woman arrived without stockings, she was sent home. Presenters became heartthrobs. Quite a lot of the girls were keen on Henry Hall. And war reporting changed attitudes. News, 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 there's an insatiable demand for news. And as for television... They couldn't think that it had any future. 75 years, Auntie, the Inside Story starts Tuesday at 10 on BBC One. The Inside Story on the weather, now on BBC One, is Suzanne Charlton. Hello. It doesn't look as if tonight will be too frosty a night. Just a few pockets of frost in the central lowlands, perhaps in parts of Wales and in towards the Midlands. But from Monday night onwards, that frostiness will really reoccur. And in fact, large areas of the country becoming frosty and quite a sharp penetrating frost is likely in some parts of the country by the end of the week. As I say, not so tonight. When we do get any pockets of frost, it'll also turn a little misty probably, but the thicker cloud will save most areas from any frost problems overnight, temperatures remaining at 3 to 5 degrees or even a little above. For the coming morning, it will be most of the cloud down the eastern stretches of the country, bringing a few spots of showery rain at times, but even this tending to dry out later on into the afternoon. The brightest skies look like they'll be found in the west, western Scotland, Northern Ireland, across the western parts of England and Wales. But with something of a freshening and rather keen east to southeast wind blowing, it looks as it'll feel a little colder than it did on Sunday in most, if not all, areas. Looking further ahead, we'll start to see the fog forming at night and lingering into the day, otherwise fine with some sunny spells. Well, that's it from BBC One for today. BBC Learning Zone takes BBC Two through the night. At the moment, there's a programme about the filming of Hamlet. Alternatively, there's the usual choice of music and chat on the five BBC radio networks. But it's just after one minute past two on Monday morning. From me, Dan Austin, and all of the BBC One team, a very good night to you. Good night. <laughs>